Okay, this video is on the preparation of salts, but we are using the method where we are adding solid to the acid. Okay, so usually when we are adding solid to the acid, we can add metal, ox metal, metal oxide or metal carbonate. Usually we try not to add metal hydroxide because sometimes uh, we complicate the methods. So, so what happens is we take, we grab powder, solid, and we just put it into a fixed volume of acid. Okay. And what happens is a salt will form. There'll be a reaction. And we just keep adding it. At the same time, we also apply heat so that we can speed up the reaction. Now, you'll come to a point where the acid does not uh, is fully used up, okay, and the solid that we have added in does not dissolve anymore. This solid is then removed by the process of filtration. And what we want is the salt. The salt is will flow through and it is collected in the evaporating dish known as the filtrate. So it will be collected as filtrate and then we can crystallize and get dry salts. So basically this is the overall process. Okay, so now let's look at it in detail. Now, first example, if I want a salt, example, copper 2 sulfate, okay, what acid would I use? Sulfate, so I will use sulfuric acid okay at the same time i know i will use a reaction that will give me the least complication i'll use something that will get me water so what will i use here so you have two options copper oxide or copper hydroxide so in this case i will use copper oxide and sulfuric acid to get this salt remember this is what we want this is a target so add this two to get this this is the target okay water is not the one Target is copper to sulfate. So how does it go? Okay, this is the reaction. This process is known as neutralization. Okay. I'll put a fixed volume of H2SO4 in the beaker. I will add CuO. If I want the reaction to be faster, I will warm up the sulfuric acid so that the thing can dissolve faster. If I put one spoon of copper sulfate, just one. Okay. Just one spoon of copper sulfate. Can I can I conclude that H that CuSO4 and H2O will be totally formed and that there will be no acid left? No, you can't conclude that. If I just add one spoon, okay, one spatula or one spoon, this is what you will get. You get CuSO4 plus H2O, but you will get one more thing, and that is you will have H2SO4. remaining inside the solution itself. So you have a mixture of three things now. Now H2SO4 will be the contaminant because there's no way to get rid of it. If you do crystallize, water will evaporate. You will leave behind two crystals, CuSO4 and possibly H2SO4 crystals there. And that will be a contaminant. What I want is just CuSO4, not H2SO4. I do not want this. So I have to find a way to get rid of H2SO4. So how do I do it? I will keep on adding CuO so that I'll get this and I'll keep on adding CuO so that it will use up the H2SO4 so eventually what happens is all the H2SO4 that was remaining will be used up and what's left is CuO excess and what happens is this solution will become saturated saturated means full concentrated it will be saturated with CuSO4 plus H2O. I will just keep on adding it and I will know that H2SO4 will be used up when the CuO doesn't dissolve. Then what do I do? How do I get rid of this CuO? This is the excess solid that is lying there. This will be a contaminant. I do not want this. So what you do next is take the mixture. Okay, this is what I want. This is my target. This is what I don't want. Do a filtration, excess CuO is removed, what is left is CuSO4 plus water, and then take the filtrate, pour it into an evaporating dish and let it evaporate. 